Hello my friends, Simon of the Board A-Hole here and now you're looking at the background, you're looking at the very low-key setting of today's video and you're like, Simon, what the fuck is going on? You may also hear there is an echo to my voice. Now, obviously I'm going to try and take that out when we, uh, when we get to the editing phase. But in short, in case you didn't see my video a week ago and you've been like, where the hell are all the videos? I've been forced to move house at kind of the last minute. I don't want to get into it, it's nothing too bad. I've been very lucky in the sense that my landlord has been awesome to me for many, many, many years. Situation came up, we needed to change some things. And again, that's how life should work as far as I'm concerned, it's karma. He took care of me for like however long it's been, a long old time. So now even though it's not the greatest situation, you try and give some of that love back. But yes, at the moment, a bunch of movers have just come and they've taken my stuff. I'm going to be uh, moving in with my girlfriend because very nicely she's given me a, <laughs> this is how last minute is, she's giving me a, a place to stay. It kind of ties in anyway because we were looking to get a place together. Now we can just speed all that up. We think we found somewhere, but it's going to be a few months, blah, blah, blah. You know the deal with it. But as I do have a few minutes, I did just want to make a quick video apologizing. Like I totally get it, right? I, 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 every day uploads on YouTube are massively important. And do not forget too, even on my end, it's massively important as well. Because obviously the more uploads I do, the more revenue I get. And the more revenue I get, the more <laughs> I can pay for all of this madness. Like movers ain't cheap. And uh, what else do I have to get? Oh, there's a skip out there to throw a bunch of stuff away. That isn't cheap. All this stuff costs money. So you're in this horrible situation. Like, I love working for myself. I love being a freelancer, a contractor, a content creator, whatever the, the, the phrase may be. But you know, there's no sick time, there's no off time. And when life kind of knocks on your door and goes, and gives you the double bird, sometimes you just got to roll with the punches. So please do know, as soon as I do get settled, there is going to be a bit of a different background <laughs> for a little while because I'm going to need to get somewhere I can set up my green screen. I know, everyone's devastated right now. I don't have an awesome PlayStation background. I just stumbled across that one day and I was like, oh, that looks kind of cool. Also, it ties into my love of games, even though I'm playing more Xbox at the moment. That doesn't matter. I love all games. Nintendo is actually the best. Um, but, you know, we'll keep the content coming and it will be like this weird segue into whatever we do next. And actually, if I get my phone out now and just put the camera on, I can show you what it actually looks like. That's kind of an interesting thing. So, yeah, this all used to be green screen and the lights are still there. The camera is still there. Television used to be over there. Now there's just a bunch of mess. There's one light, two light, three light, four light, five light just staring at me. And I got my weird over setup over here now. Um, but yeah, again, I, just, I kind of tried to find some fitness content today, but I, was like, I can't really find any. <laughs> there's, there's always fitness content out there, but I thought, you know what? It makes much more sense just to sit down and have a little bit of a chat, a little bit of a vlog. vlog. Although when you do vlogs, you want to make it look really nice. And this is going to be the most budget video ever. And I tell you the worst bit, the worst bit about all of it is I have a bunch of fans in my house because there's flipping hot in the UK at the moment. And I'm even, it could be like minus one. I and I would still be warm so now I have no fans so I'm sat here under these lights and I'm slowly sweating and usually what I do in a video is I just get the fan in my face and I cool myself down uh, but I can't do that anyway we're getting we are getting well off track um, and do not forget as well I think this, this is how we'll tile this in before before we wrap it up change is hard right doesn't matter what the change is you're changing job you're changing relationship you're changing house you're changing your living situation you're changing your financial situation there's a thousand things and any time that does happen, doesn't matter how secure you are or how much confidence you have, all of a sudden your brain just knows and your body just knows. And it kind of feels scared, I think is the right way to put it. Maybe not scared, anxious or apprehensive. Like, why are you doing this? I'm used to this comfortability. I don't want this to happen. And you almost have to fight it. I definitely find it. It's like all of a sudden you get into an argument with your brain. But do not forget that... Well, this is what I, this is how I see it anyway. This is why I try and do as much as possible. Like the rest, of, well, I love this stuff as well. I'm passionate about it. But when I kind of latch onto something and I think to myself, oh, I, I could potentially enjoy that, I just throw myself into it because you cannot grow unless you embrace uncomfortable surroundings and uncomfortable experiences. It's just true. And uncomfortable doesn't mean you're doing something bad. For example, you know, during the pandemic, I decided oh, I really want to get into acting. And I've never done it. When I was driving to my first acting lesson, my brain was like, what are you doing? You absolute goober. <laughs> what are you? Stop it and stop it right now because it was scared. I'm going to use it. I'm going to go with the word. It was scared. It was worried about what the consequences would be. But as it turned out, one of the best things I've ever done, I found this brand new hobby, whatever we want to call it, pastime, passion to, to get involved in. And now I'm super excited about it. And I'm not saying I'm going to become The Rock <laughs> Part 2. It's very unlikely. You'll be shocked to hear. But it's just more cool experiences that may come along the way. And that's why I think you need to walk in 
to whatever that vibe may be and just embrace it for what it is. And even if it's the worst thing ever, that's kind of the best thing in the world too. Like, you want to have two lists in life. This is how I always approach it. You want to have a good list. This is the stuff I want to do. And you want to have a bad list of stuff that you tried and it didn't work. Because if you try it and it didn't work, you can just cross that off the list. And you can be like, oh, I don't have to worry about that anymore because I know I'm never going to regret it because I put myself out there and it just wasn't for me. And this is where failure and regrets, I think, are a, are a mixed bag. Failure to me is just not giving something a go that you really want to try. You go full fat on your face, you ain't a failure. You're a massive success because you had the cojones or whatever word we want to use, the moxie, to go out there and try it. So when you are a 60, 70, 80 year old, you'll look back and you'll think to yourself, well, at least I tried and it didn't work out, but that's a shame. And yeah, you may be disappointed that it didn't work out, but that's completely different to feeling like a failure because you're not. And that's when regret comes into it. I don't want to be a 65 year old man and being like, I should have done this, I should have done that. Oh my gosh. Do not forget the greatest saying of all time is I, you know, you should have done, the best time to do something is 10 years ago or today. Well, back to the future don't exist, so you may as well do it today. Don't let age get in the way. Don't let obstacles or barriers get in the way. Maybe you are going to be the first person to break that barrier down. And somebody messaged me the other day, they were 36 years old, and they said, Simon, I want to be a professional wrestler, but I think it's too late. Now, if we actually look at all the caveats, potentially it is too late, but maybe this guy will be the first dude ever to start wrestling at 36 and be WWE champion by 40. And we could all laugh at that stuff and go, <laughs> it's never going to happen. And the odds are against him, but just go and do it. Because what may happen is, okay, you don't get to WWE, but maybe you become a smash success on the indie scene. You win a bunch of world titles on there and you're like, oh, wow, this is one of the greatest things I have ever done. Now, how the hell that ties into moving house, I don't know. But I all kind of think these plates sync together. So no matter what is facing you in your own life, just try and embrace it as best as you can. I'll be the first one to admit the last few days have been crazy stressful. Packing up my entire life last week, trying to figure out where I'm going to go, what I'm going to do, how I'm going to record all this stuff, worrying about money, because that's what we all do. But we just do it. We walk into these situations and we just do it and we'll figure it out. And if we don't, well, we'll try again. So no matter what it is that you may be facing, be it big or be it small, I absolutely know you can smash it. And also, somebody sent me this list. And it was like the most stressful things you can do in, the, in your life. And it was something like get a divorce, bereavement, losing a loved one, moving house. <laughs> Number three. <laughs> Number three. And I totally get it too because not only is it the physical activism, well, I've got to take this stuff and I've got to move it miles that way, but it's the familiarity. Like I think I've already said, it's the... It's just you feel comfortable. Now, most people feel comfortable in their, in their own houses. Even if they don't particularly like where they're living, you, you find a comfortability, which is why sometimes when you wake up in a hotel room or you wake up in a brand new house, you're like, <laughs> where the hell am I? And you kind of freak out a little bit because, again, we get into these patterns. We get into these patterns. And uh, brains like routines. That's the truth. So, yeah, I should be in by the end of the week. So there'll be a few weird... I'll still get some videos done, but they'll be weird like this. You'll have to forgive me. But there's still interesting things we can talk about. And then from next week, I'll have a much nicer background, but it probably won't be the green screen. And then a couple, well, hopefully a sort of a month or so after that, we can get back to regular business. But I will do the very best that I, I can do. And of course, we'll go to a new gym. So maybe we can vlog and do stuff like that. But otherwise, I always appreciate the support, especially on patreon.com. Force S. Simon of 316, thank you for being so understanding. It's very, very nice because you totally could throw your toys out the pram and I would, I would understand that too. Otherwise, Instagram and Twitter at Simon of 316, grillmind.com for the Simon. You could sign and get 10% off at uh, Ingrid Sits Power 13 cookbook. Merchandise, excuse me, I won't plug because at the moment the merchandise is in a van <laughs> going to the new house. So if you have ordered merchandise over the weekend, it's going to be a little bit delayed. I do apologize. And if you do order it now, it will also be a bit delayed, but I can get to it next week. I think that's it. I'm on Cameo if you would want to shout out. In fact, I'm going to get some of them done right now. But I give you a salute. I thank you as always. You're a great bunch of dudes and girls and guys and adults and children, I suppose. I don't know. And I will see you throughout this week. Just going to be a little bit weird.